Welcome to Juice Motors. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me for part three of our Defender 90 TD5 build. Now in the last episode, we bolted on this awesome front end. We had our standard trims painted in Santorini black. We fitted our full LED package to this along with a DRL bumper. Now we also did the, the rear Fox shocks and the rear vehicle bushes, but I've just had a few deliveries arrive and I cannot wait to share with you guys what we've got for this build. Now uh, I'll jump straight into it because this is gonna be super exciting. Okay guys, now as you can see, packaged here is our full demand engineering exhaust. Now this is a full custom exhaust from the downpipe all the way back, and I'm so excited to see what this thing can do. We've used demand before, they're our chosen provider for custom exhaust because they do such an awesome job. The welds are amazing, the exhaust systems sound great, and I cannot wait for this one. This is, we haven't gone mad with this one, we haven't gone for a three inch exit, we've gone for a standard kind of two and a half inch system, full stainless steel with a sports silencer and a sports cap. So this thing's gonna sound amazing, it's gonna help with our breathing and our performance, and it's gonna be one of those lifetime fits. It really is amazing quality and I haven't unboxed it, so I'm really excited to unwrap this. And um, the best thing has gotta be the tip, isn't it? So we'll unwrap it all and have a look. So that is our downpipe and just have a look at those worlds. Absolutely beautiful. And there is our, our mid pipe with the sports silencer. The quality of this is mental. Uh. Okay, here we go. The best bit. That is gonna look so sick at the back of this TD5. You know there's gonna be something special. Very, very nice. Okay guys, so check it out. This exhaust is so nice, super high quality, and we've gone for a very OEM plus finish, which is exactly what this build is about. This thing is gonna sound amazing, it's gonna get up the road really quickly, and it's just got premium parts fitted to it. But something else has arrived, and I'm so excited about this because we've been working on this for a long time, and we've only got the first delivery here, so this is like, this is gonna be the very first car in the UK that has got this kit fitted, what I'm talking about, and all I can do is unbox it. So I'll move the exhaust and I'll show you what we've got. Oh. Okay guys, we've been working on this for months and I'm so excited to say this will be out coming soon. So stay tuned for this one. However, this is the most mental thing. I'm very excited. I'll give you a little sneak peek. So you what, we'll do this one first. You might be able to guess what's in these. We've got some stainless steel brake lines, which are gonna be important. Now I haven't seen this yet. This is the rear. So we got a huge vented rear setup. And just have a look at the size of these. This is for the rear. This thing is gonna stop on a penny and I cannot wait to see how these perform, let alone fit them. I can't wait to see what they look fitted. That's the disc. For the rear, which is massive. And now, I'm so excited, I can't tell you how, how happy I am about these. And I can't wait to see them in the flesh. I've seen photos, but I haven't seen them yet. Woo! So there we have our huge four pot rear caliper. And just look at that. That is absolutely awesome. That is gonna be a high performance brake kit on the rear. Let's unbox the front. Okay guys, so this is the front. And I mean, look at the size of this disc. These are massive. And I can only compare these to something like a BMW M3 just because of the size of them. Enormous braking cap capability, so I cannot wait to, to start fitting this thing, but I'm so excited with how they come out. Let's see a front. These things are absolutely enormous. And this thing is really, really gonna be able to stop now. I cannot wait to see this thing on the car, so I'm gonna jump straight in and get all this stuff fitted.
Okay guys, so that is our full custom exhaust installed. And it's looking really, really nice under here. Really nice quality. The fitment is absolutely perfect. No noises. It's not gonna bang on anything and it looks super cool out the back. You can definitely tell there's something different about this car but with a nice factory OEM feel to it. So I'm gonna bring it down now and start up and see what it sounds like. Okay guys, so this is gonna be the first start and hear what it sounds like. And we're gonna let it warm up first before we give it any, any kind of revving. Go on then, hit it. So we'll let it warm up and we'll come back to it in five or 10 minutes. So that is a really, really nice sounding exhaust. It's got that performance feel to it without being too in your face or droning at high speeds. And I cannot wait to hear this thing at full chat up a hill under load. Super excited. So we'll move on and uh, get on with something else. Okay guys, it is actually the next day here. And yesterday you saw us fit up that full custom exhaust from Demand Engineering and it sounds absolutely amazing. Now uh, I can't resist and we're gonna jump straight on in and fit up these huge big brake calipers and our new huge discs. So, we're just gonna jump straight in and get on with that.
Okay guys, so it's another new day here and I've got Zach with me behind me and he's from Apex Paintworks and he's gonna be basically doing the little bit of bodywork touch-ups on this vehicle that are required. Um, we've got a few bits. I wanted this thing ideally off the ramp and outside. That's where he's used to working and how he usually, how he usually works. But um, we're on a bit of a time frame with this thing and we haven't got the front brakes installed yet. So I'm gonna leave Zach. He's busy doing that. He's gonna be doing the windscreen frame because it's all, uh, it's just starting to bubble. So we took the windscreen out and we weren't happy with putting the windscreen back in with a new seal until obviously Zach has done his magic and corrected all the kind of rust and, and done his magic and made it look all beautiful. So he's gonna be doing that as well as a few other bits around the car at the back. Whilst I'm working on this one over here, this is just a, a customer vehicle. We're doing the 2.4, the injector clamps have all come loose. So we're doing that, but uh, I'll let Zach crack on. He's gonna do that. And then hopefully by the time I've done this, we can jump on this and get those front brakes installed. Okay guys, so Zach has finished his magic and this windscreen frame is no longer rusty, looking absolutely perfect, which is great. We're gonna leave the tape on just until it dries overnight and then we can pull it off and put the windscreen in tomorrow at the end of the day when it's slightly less soft. But for now, we can focus on doing these big breaks. So let's go on and do that. Just look at these calipers. We've just installed everything. We still gotta do the front left caliper, but the size of these things, it's really gonna make a difference. And I just, I'm so excited to see what this thing's like on road. Installation went perfect. Really, really happy with how it's all lined up. I just need to basically pin this together. But I mean, look at the size of these things, the color of them. It's just bringing this thing up to date and giving it some modern stopping power. And I mean, we're gonna have to be careful breaking in. Some of you eagle-eyed people might say, oh, you got them on the wrong way around. We haven't. The vents are designed to actually catch the air, as you can imagine. They're gonna go in, they're just designed slightly differently. So they are fitted correctly, but um, you, these look absolutely sick. You've got to admit, they look amazing. So super happy with how these come out. And it's just one of these things, when you see them behind the wheels, you're gonna think this vehicle's got something special about it. So that's really cool. Let's jump on and do the other side. Okay guys, so it's the next morning and uh, now we're gonna detape it. We have to let all this kind of dry up so we can, I mean, it all looks perfect, which is absolutely fantastic. So we now just need to basically get rid of all the tape and we can install the other side of the brakes, lift it up and do all the kind of other bits and bobs. So let's get straight to it. Wow, 
welcome to Juice Motors. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm gonna cut it right here. I hope you really enjoyed this episode. Obviously we did the big brake conversion. We did the demand exhaust, which is gonna be, oh, I cannot wait to hear this thing, honestly. I'm so excited. Uh, but in the next episode, we're gonna get this thing on the ground. We're gonna put the wheels on and it's gonna be done. So we're gonna give it a wash and polish. We've got a number of other little bits and bobs to be getting on with. But uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and comment. And uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, which is at Juice Motors. And I'll see you guys for the next episode.